Lucasfilm president and executive producer Kathleen Kennedy just insulted Star Wars creator George Lucas in a recent interview. Let's get into it. Kathleen Kennedy is an American film producer and president of Lucasfilm. She's been around for decades as she co-founded the production company Amblin Entertainment with Steven Spielberg and her husband, Frank Marshall. Her first film as a producer was E.T. the Extraterrestrial. George Lucas named her president of Lucasfilm upon his retirement prior to selling Lucasfilm to Disney. In the years since taking over Lucasfilm, Kathy Kennedy has been looked at with a great deal of contempt from the fandom. It's easy to argue that Star Wars should be a major success, and it hasn't been since she took over. Many fans anticipated her removal as president of Lucasfilm, and others simply await the day of her retirement. One of the reasons why so much of the fandom has disapproved of Kennedy is how Star Wars has done little to honor the past. In fact, if you look at the last few years, many of the original trilogy and prequel trilogy characters have been supplanted at Lucasfilm. They've been made to look weaker, or not as great. Boba Fett was made to look like a bumbling idiot in his own series. Obi-Wan Kenobi was made to look weak against Reva in the show Kenobi. Darth Vader has lost a fight, again. And we all know about what happened with Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, so I won't even go there. For a deep dive on that, make sure you go see our sequel trilogy documentary. The Force has been female, as Kathleen Kennedy has wanted it to be. Characters created by George seem to be constantly but indirectly attacked. And now, in a recent interview, Kennedy indirectly insults the maker of the Star Wars that we love. When asked about the future Star Wars projects being made for the big screen, she said the following, I've often brought up Bond. That's every three or four years, and there wasn't this pressure to feel like you had to have a movie every year. I feel that was very important to Star Wars. We have to eventize this. It's much better to tell the truth that we're going to make these movies when they're ready to be made and release them when they're ready to be released. Why in the world is Kathleen Kennedy mentioning James Bond here? George Lucas released Star Wars movies three years apart and even waited 16 years between Return of the Jedi and The Phantom Menace. This is Kennedy again going out of her way to not mention the glorious Star Wars of the past. Speaking of glorious Star Wars of the past, did you know that Return of the Jedi just had its 40th anniversary and was back in theaters for a week? Many people didn't know because, in my opinion, Kathy didn't want you to know. Do you remember what Kathy said to George when all of this started? It, it, you know, I have a tremendous amount to learn from George. I, I, there's things that... Um, that I want to preserve within the spirit of this company. And as it moves into Disney, I think it's, it's vitally important to anything we create that we hold on to the spirit of what started all of this. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to live in the way that you created. Well, what happened, Kathy? You have absolutely and totally failed in that regard. You are the president of Lucasfilm, and you don't even mention how George released his movies years apart, and you bring up James Bond? Well, here's why you did that. Because you know how badly George Lucas makes you look. You, five foot three inches of incompetent failure. Thank you all for coming by and checking out this video. Please give us a comment below and let us know your thoughts about Kathleen Kennedy and her recent comments. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Echo Base Network will always be on a mission to hold Lucasfilm accountable and demand great Star Wars again. And to, unlike Kathy Kennedy, honor George Lucas's Star Wars. As we always say here, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you on the next one.